Today, a Sessions court in Surat dismissed Congress leader Rahul Gandhi's plea for a stay on his conviction in a criminal defamation case over his Modi surname remark. Last Thursday, the Court of Additional Sessions Judge R.P. Moghera had reserved its verdict for April 20th on Gandhi's application for a stay pending his appeal against a lower court's order sentencing him to two years in jail in the case. Gandhi had submitted that the trial court treated him harshly after being overwhelmingly influenced by his status as an MP. Congress leader Jairam Ramesh said that they will continue to avail all options still available to them under the law. Jairam Ramesh's tweet read, We will continue to avail all options still available to us under the law. Abhishek Singh, we will brief the media on Rahul Gandhi's appeal at 4 p.m. If the court had stayed or suspended Rahul Gandhi's conviction today, the Congress leader could have been reinstated in Parliament. The 52-year-old politician was elected to the Lok Sabha from Wayanad in Kerala in 2019. His disqualification happened on March 24, a day after a Metropolitan Magistrate Court in Surat sentenced him to two years in jail. The criminal defamation case against Rahul Gandhi was filed by Bharatiya Janata Party or BJP MLA under the sections 499 and 500 of the Indian Penal Code or IPC. The case against Gandhi over his remarks, how come all thieves have Modi as the common surname, which he made during an election rally at Kolar in Karnataka on April 13th of 2019. In his submission, Gandhi said that if the March 23rd judgment of the trial court is not suspended and stayed, it will cause irreparable damage to his reputation. The Congress leader said that he was sentenced in a manner so as to attract the order of disqualification because the trial court was well aware of his status as a parliamentarian.